Boys and girls watching, I'm excited about the paper that we're about to do. Boys and girls right here, you can see this paper. It's inside your desk in just a minute. And maybe boys and girls watching, you already have your paper or your on-site teacher will give it to you in just a minute. I'm excited about this paper. I see two Native Americans. What was their names? We've been learning about them. Name one of them, Angelina. Squanto. Squanto. And what was the other one, Kayla? Samoset. Yes, yeah, Squanto and Samoset. And they became friends with the who class? The Pilgrims. The Pilgrims, that's right. And our paper today says, God helped the Pilgrims make new friends. God already had, the, had those friends there waiting for them when they came to, where did they come to? America. America, that's right. They came to America from where? England. From England, that's right. We've been learning about that first Thanksgiving when they came over and then they thanked God for what he had done for them. I hope you do that. William, do you thank God for the things that he gives you? I hope you do. I hope you don't just do it here in class. I hope, boys and girls watching, you do it all the time. Whether you're at your house, sitting on your couch, whether you're in the car, whether you're sitting right here, boys and girls, wherever you're at, you can just stop and thank God. If you're driving down the road and you see, maybe you see a little bunny rabbit hopping in the grass, you can thank God for that bunny rabbit. Maybe you get something special on the way you didn't know you were going to get. Maybe Catherine Daddy says, I'm going to take you and your sissies to somewhere special and you didn't even know. You can thank God for that. God knows and cares for us and he gives us the things we need and sometimes he gives us blessings, doesn't he? And he bless those pilgrims. So today we are going to color this picture of our friends Squanto and Samoset with the pilgrims. I'm excited about this paper. Class, stand quietly, turn your chair into the table. You gonna wait for your friends? Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sweet boy. All right, take out your paper. Put it on your star, slant it on your stars and get out your crayons. And boys and girls watching, you can get your things ready as well, being very dependable. Everybody else has their crayons ready to go. Good. Oh, let's look at this table. Very nice, you're ready to go. All right, let's look right here. I see our first pilgrim. He is wearing a gray hat and his jacket is black. Now, do I want to color so hard I cannot find his, his jacket on this paper? <laughs> no, I don't want to do it like that. I want to color it almost gray so that it looks like I can see he's wearing a jacket. So let's look right here. I'm going to take my black crayon and I'm going to so carefully, so carefully color. Do you see how carefully I'm going? Oh, because sometimes if we go too hard, then you won't get to see all the details. That means all the things that are on this jacket, all the buttons and everything that is on this jacket. So do you see how carefully I am coloring? I'm not going fast. I'm taking my time, going back and forth, back and forth. I see he has a belt, so I'm going to jump over that belt. And I'm gonna, not going to color on his hand. And I'm just going back and forth, making it so pretty. And I definitely don't want to get my other friend right here, my other pilgrim friend's jacket, because his jacket's not black, his jacket's brown. And I'm coloring it so nice. You can see my black jacket, can't you? 
You can because I didn't color it really hard. I colored it nicely. So that's what I want you to do. I'm going to look at your papers. Are you going to be dependable today? Can I trust you to color nicely on your paper? Boys and girls watching, is your on-site teacher going to see that you colored nicely? I hope so. Take out your black crayon, black crayon check. Help her hand in the corner. Daddy says, I love you. Mommy says, I love you. And the babies say, I will always. All right, let's check those babies that they are down and in the seatbelt. Good, good job. All right, color very nicely on the jacket. Color super nicely on the jacket, and I'm going to walk around and check to see how you are doing. Color very nicely. Oh, I like how I see you taking your time. Lucia's taking her time. Johanna is taking her time. That looks so pretty. I like it, good job. Let's look over here, wow, Oakley. Oakley is taking his time, Bethany's taking her time. Nice. Remember our poem, God help the pilgrims ship to sail safely across the sea. He sure did. And then when Thanksgiving came, they thanked God for the wonderful things that he did for them. When they came to America, were there stores for them to go shopping in? No. No, there was not stores for them to go shopping in. They didn't have grocery stores. They didn't have hardware stores. They just came over with the things that they had. They couldn't take everything with them. They only had a little bit of clothing and a little bit of food. The children couldn't come with all of their toys. They probably only could bring just maybe one thing. I don't know. But they still did what they were supposed to do. They obeyed God and came to America. They were very dependable. I'll give you just a second or two to finish that pilgrim. Hmm. He looks like he is hand putting out his hand. He is like he's saying hello there, and he's shaking his wanting to shake his hand. He's being a gentleman. All right, black crayons down. This next pilgrim, he's wearing a brown jacket and a brown hat. We're going to do the brown hat first. So let me show you his brown hat. His brown hat has lots of dots on it, so we have to trace those dots. So watch me. I'm going to start right here by his hair, and I'm going to go up and around and up on top of his hat and down and around and back to the back of his head to fill in his hat. And then I'm going to color very, very, very carefully because I don't want to get brown in the sky. I just want to get it so carefully inside the hat. Just like that. And then do you see that he has this white part right here? It's kind of trimmed in black. That's his shirt. We're not going to color. Catherine, are you watching? Because I hope you're being so dependable to see. Do you see that white collar right there? That's his white shirt. We're not going to color his white shirt. So it's trimmed in black right there. That's how we know not to color it brown. And then the rest of his jacket is brown. And I see, if you look really carefully, down by his hand that is on his hip, he has his white shirt sticking out on his white shirt, or on his jacket, I should say, kind of like a cuff. See how Mrs. Stewart has like a cuff on her shirt? Sometimes you take your cuff and you roll it over. Maybe you've seen your daddy do that. He rolls up his shirt and he cuffs it. Well, that's what that is. That's a cuff of his white shirt, and that's trimmed in black, too. So I don't want to color that, either. I'm going to be very dependable, and I'm going to take my time so I don't color the white shirt brown, because that's not what color the pilgrim shirts were. They were white. So I want to color them so nicely. And then I'm taking my time, going back and forth, to color my pilgrim's jacket brown. 
So we're going to start with the hat first. Brown crayon check. Oh, Connor, good job. He is always dependable. I can always count on him to get out his pencil or his crayon and put his helper hand in the corner. He is always ready to go. I never have to worry that he's not going to have it ready. Good job. Go ahead, check that mommy and daddy are on your, pen, on your crayon and the babies are tucked in and go ahead and start with the hat. Trace around the dotted lines first. Start by his face, the dotted lines by his face and go around, go so slow. Go around on the dotted lines and take your time. Boys and girls watching, are you staying on the lines? Good. And then color in the hat very carefully. Oh, Carter is going so slow so he doesn't color the cuffs. Good job. I like that hard work. Nice job, Bethany. Good, Lucia. Wow, we have some pretty colors today. Being dependable, doing our best. I like it. And then you may color the coat. After you've done the hat, color in the coat. Oh, take your time, slow down. Make it pretty. Kyla, are you being dependable? Are you taking your time? I hope so. Very nice. When the snow melted, they were able to go and build some more houses and they were able to start some crops. What kind of crops maybe did they grow? Corn. Some corn. Mm -hmm. What else do you think? What else would be yummy? Some apples. Mm, I don't know. What do you think they hunted for? Turkey. For turkey and some pheasant. And I think maybe that when the Native Americans came for Thanksgiving, they brought deer. Mm, they did. They brought deer and other yummy things to eat. Oh, it's so delicious. Mm -hmm. I've eaten deer before. It's good. It is. What a wonderful thing it must have been to share that first Thanksgiving meal together. How wonderful. All right, brown crayons down. Let's see. Oh, that was so quick obedience. Catherine, way to be dependable. Good job. Now, turn your paper over. It says, the pilgrims thank God for his care. Even the children can thank God. Does that mean you can thank God? Not just teachers, not just mommies and daddies, not just grandmas and grandpas, but boys and girls can thank God? Yes. You can thank God. You can talk to God any time. Now, look, do they look like their lips are moving? No, their lips are not moving. Oh, your hands should be right here. Their lips are not moving. That means they are talking to God in their heart and in their brain, and he can hear you. He can. Just like he heard when Hannah prayed in the temple, he, she was praying that God would give her a what? A baby. Mm -hmm. And the words were not coming out of her mouth. God heard her heart. And God will hear yours. And God can hear you when you say thank you. And when you say please and you ask him for things, God will hear you. And so we're going to color this little pilgrim girl and little pilgrim boy. So our little pilgrim girl is wearing a little blue dress. Now, do you see her cuffs? She has white cuffs too. And her collar is white. So we are going to make sure we don't color on top of her pretty white collar and her pretty white cuffs. So we're going to go so slow around the cuffs and around her collar. And we're going to go so slow as we color back and forth, back and forth, just like that. And then I see she has her other hands right here. So I've got to be really careful not to color on the white 
on those like gray white. It's kind of grayish white. It's not a white white, it's like a grayish white. Just like that. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm gonna color all the way down here. Oh, I like when I looked back, I saw Carter's eyes and William's eyes and boys and girls watching, you're being so dependable. Get out your blue crayon. Blue crayon check. Are you coloring right now? No. no, because we are in crayon check. Check that mommy and daddy are holding on tight. Check that the babies are where they need to be. Oh, if I turned around, will I see you being dependable? Will I see those babies in the right spot? Let's see. I did, good. Oh, I see that Oakley is being dependable. He's not coloring. He has his eyes on Mrs. Stewart and he is waiting. Good job. Go ahead and color the little girl's blue dress. And I will finish my little girl's blue dress while you're coloring yours. Take your time. Go slow. Make it pretty. Do a good job. What a sweet little picture. The Bible says, suffer the little children to come unto me. God loves the little children. He wants you to come unto him. He is waiting and watching for you. He loves you. Very nice coloring. Color on it, back and forth. Don't make scribbles, color back and forth. Do a good job. Put your helper hand in there. That will keep your paper still. Good. Nice work. Nice job, Kayla. Boys and girls watching, are you taking your time? Keeping the collar and the cuffs white? Good. You're doing such a good job. This picture we could keep. Maybe you could hang it up in your bedroom or keep it right by your bed to remind you that you can stop and talk to God and pray and thank Him. Maybe you already do that. Maybe before you go to bed, you pray with Daddy and Mommy. And if you don't, you could ask them, can we pray before we get in bed? That's a special time that you can talk to God. Wow, Myla, can I show your picture to the boys and girls watching? Look at that girl. Didn't she do a good job? She did. Very nice job, Myla. Way to go. I wonder if I can find a boy. Oh, I did. William. Here's William's paper. He's working hard. Boys and girls are being dependable today. All right, blue crayons down. Let's see, Luke, what color is our little boy? Brown. It's brown, you are right. Now he has a belt and he's got a brown belt with a gold buckle and he's got white on his collar and his cuffs too. So I don't want to get those colored any other color. I wanna keep those looking crisp and nice. So when I color, I'm gonna go very carefully again and I'm gonna use my brown crayon to color very carefully around the collar and around the cuffs. And do I want to color on the belt? No. No, I want to go so slow to keep that belt so shiny. Oh, this little boy and little girl, they are keeping themselves so clean. Has mommy or daddy ever put you in something maybe brand new and said, don't get dirty, don't make a mess, keep your clothes nice and clean. Oh, I hope you do. Hope you're being dependable. So we're going to keep their clothes nice and clean and pretty. We're going to go back and forth and back and forth and color his jacket and we're going to color his pants. Go ahead and take out your brown crayon, brown crayon check. Make sure mommy and daddy are in their spot. What are the babies supposed to be doing? They're buckled up. Let's see who's got their babies buckled up. Ooh, wow. Oakley, do you have your babies buckled up? Bethany, do you have yours? 
Boys and girls watching, yes, you have yours. They're being dependable. Let's see over here. Nice job. Go ahead and color the little boy's jacket and his pants brown. Nice job. Boys and girls watching, I hope you enjoyed doing this little Thanksgiving paper today. And maybe you could use this paper to tell other people, and maybe in your family, about the first Thanksgiving and all that God did for them and what God can do for you.